Admiral. So this is Tunguska. <laughs> Yikes. It's good to be back in the USSR, but this place makes the rest of Siberia look tropical. Looking good, Goldie. That outfit could melt an iceberg. Thanks. You're welcome to borrow it sometime if you like. Yeah, a little nippy. I better incinerate something for heat before my tool falls off. Can't have that. But I think we can arrange an opportunity for creative combustion. We need to gather intelligence on Project Solaris. Want to help me out? You know it, sugar. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure yet. I'll know more after Agent Sergei briefs me. Sergei? Ah, oh, man. Not him again. Yes, him again. He's been here for weeks, digging up intel on Project Solaris. Yeah, he's a regular 007 off. What's he got that I ain't got? Hair, for one thing. Here he comes. Let me do the talking. Ukraine girls knock me out. Moscow girls make me shout. It's good to see you, Sergei. Natalyushka, you look devastating, as usual. I know, but we have no time for further verbal foreplay. What can you tell me of Project Solaris? Not as much as I'd like. There is a classified area nearby, obscured day and night by a cloud of radioactive gas. I believe it is the source of the insidious organic weapons being used to subjugate our motherland. Svolochi. Duh. The area plans are kept in a high security section of KGB headquarters. Can you sneak us in? You and your little Zaitchik? I don't see how. Now, if it were just the two of us. Jealousy, Sergei? Though the fire fades, comrade, the embers may yet smolder. Even in the tundra. Thank you, comrade. We'll find our own way in. Now go. You mustn't be seen with me. So, exactly what kind of history do you have with this Sergei guy? Exactly the kind you think, Crypto. Not that it's any of your business. Hey, see whoever you want. You can bang the Red Army Chorus for all I care. Your permission is noted. Now can we get to work? Okay, so how do we get our hands on the plan? Sergei says we'll have to sneak into the KGB headquarters and steal them. 
Oh, Sergei says that, does he? He does. The odds will be against us. The place is swarming with agents. Well, Crypto says bring them on. The more, the freaking merrier. Okay then. Hmm. Actually, you might be onto something there, Crypto. If you can create a large enough disturbance, it might lure most of the agents out of the building. And while I'm playing monkey ball, you'll sneak in and grab the plans. Gotcha. Okay, dollface, I'm off to stir up the Soviets. Be careful in there, you hear me? Don't worry, Crypto. You keep them occupied, and I'll be just fine. Whatever you do, just keep them away from the HQ building. Good luck. Take intruders down!
Not bad, huh? If there's one thing I can do, it's make with the boom boom. Admit it, Goldie. I'm your knight in a shining spacesuit, and you just can't resist me. I'm resisting you right now, Crypto. And you're wearing my LAR pajamas. Damn. So how about those plans you swiped? They the real deal or what? I just had time to glance at them quickly before the alarms went off. There seem to be a number of tunnels and a lot of security around them. And it looks like the tunnels have these bizarre organic pumps inside, which are what's pumping the radioactive gas over the area. So I take it we're gonna put these organic pumps out of business. Da. But a direct assault would be dangerous. I need to talk to some people. Lay low for a while, Tovarish. I'll be back soon. Why do they always ask me to do the one thing I suck at? What is 
that being? Uh? Dobry den, towarzysz. Hey, man. If I said you had a great body, would you hold it again? I like you, Crypto, but I will neuter you if I have to. Fair enough. Hey, gorgeous. Do you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the organic weapon technology program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. So you persuaded the scientist to talk, huh? Uh, did he survive the persuasion? Violence isn't the answer to everything, Crypto. For example, have you noticed the male-to-female ratio in this village? You sly dog. Hey, all I did was sit there. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you, but I expect a big reward. Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm, you can ask him for your reward. <laughs> Radiation can make hair fall out. That explains why most scientists in town have hairless yelpas and heads. Bold on heads, too. Curiosity is being I'm still finding it difficult to be sitting. Next time, must be putting pants on before sliding petrol. If we are not getting some new fuel rods soon, we will not be able to generate any power. New shipment was supposed to arrive at Frozen Lakes days ago. What am I supposed to be rendering fishing with? Rubber bands? Agent Sergei is waiting with a truck not far from here. I know how you feel about him, Crypto, but you must conquer your personal issues and take in those fuel rod containers. The sensors on the saucer are picking up significant radiation levels.
is quite a specimen. Wouldn't you agree, Crypto? Devil don't decalypse. Eradicate them.
Well done, Crypto. Our cargo has arrived at the safe house. Now come and see me. We need to talk. Whoa, look at that. Finished already. And here I was, just getting started. Of course, I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy. You know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto. But I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then, try and stay out of trouble. Well, that wasn't condescending. So, he makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalange pods, is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks. Privet, tovarish. How's it hanging? A little to the left. Hey, hey, not bad, Goldie. So, you and, uh, you and Sergei, huh? He's really, uh, something. Where'd the two of you meet? At the KGB Academy, actually. No kidding. What was he? Uh, the janitor? As a matter of fact, he finished second in our training class. Hmm. I got three guesses who came in first, and they all start with N. 
<laughs> I think that was part of the attraction. He'd never lost to a girl before. Wonder if he's ever lost to a Furon. So what happened? Your kids seem made for each other. He wanted me to quit. It's not easy always being second best, I expect. Tell me about it. The soldiers shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Niet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? No. But not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order. Life. 
Rockets and Tampa Police. Oh, look at me! Well done, Crypto! That's the last of the reactors shut down! Now, head up to the base and see if that gas cloud is clearing. And you might want to watch your news. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no. They're not even human. They're the enemy. Our enemy. The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War. Crypto, they're Blisk. Blisk? Wait a minute. I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out. I have no explanation. 
I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk! I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My, my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster. Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship. Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world, and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end, we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven time. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell did the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns. But none of us saw this coming. 
Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. Only our mothership was still intact. Its archived data on the disk might have helped me develop weapons upgrades capable of cracking those shells. But that data is irretrievable now. Oh, the Fiorology! Perhaps answer to ridiculous Schrodinger man. Revit, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orlov. And? No, and. That's it. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot, coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. What is with all these scientists living out my frozen lake? Conducting strange and mysterious experiments, no doubt. It's not helping property values on my shack. I am not wanting to investigate. But I am also not... Dr. Orloff is calling up always for us to patrol area around this cabin. All alone living near forest. He's been big chicken. Not today. Oh, Rampillion, cosmonaut!
dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt.
Dr. Orlov, I presume. How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, he's all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris, but I quit after I saw very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it. Whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care. Facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet you. Searching a facility in center of town. On second thought, actually, I am not. I am not wondering at all. Oh, they find an artifact. What's the first thing they are doing? Sheep in a metal container to store it. I've been begging for metal containers to store my experiments in for years! Who's Yelda do I have to yak off around here to get a metal container? No tricks, alien! For years, man! It's your first question, Corp. <laughs> ah! 
Hello? How nice of you to drop by. Hey, Pox, what do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? I don't know. What do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? Chowder! <laughs> Okay, 
Ox, what are we gonna do about these crabby blisk? They'll undoubtedly kill us if we don't kill them first. Therefore, there's only one thing we can do. Destroy them! Starting with their crashed warship. Unfortunately, as discussed, its hull is impervious to Furon weaponry. It does, however, have a weakness. The main thruster protected by an armored hatch. Open that hatch, Crypto, and then bring on the Boom Boom! You are so cute when you do that. So how do I get this thruster hatch open? It's got to be locked down tight. It is. And my scans reveal the hatch controls have been disabled. It seems the Blisk have removed the Nexus crystals powering the circuit, but not destroyed them. Those crystals are still around somewhere. I'm reading a faint Nexus signature somewhere inside the Blisk base. Find the Nexus crystals to power the circuit and open the hatch. Then, destroy that warship! I think little Crypto just woke up. Alright, Poxy! I'm tan, rested, and ready. Let's bring this crab pot to a boil. Bam! Right! Head for the Blisk base and see if you can find those crystals. I'll keep scanning while you're inside. If I lock onto the crystals, I'll let you know. And be careful. These Blisk are a lot stronger than- Anybody else I've fought, I got it. Don't worry. Ponzabi was right about one thing. Everybody cracks. Brace yourself, Crypto. This mission is going to be an extreme test of your particular... Um... Talents. Head into the Blisk base on foot and see if you can find those Nexus crystals. Scanners are picking up a weak signal from one of the crystals near your current location. There, Crypto! That Blisk warrior has it! Take him out and pry that crystal from his cold, scaly hands!
it, Crypto. You recovered all the Nexus crystals. And I owe Gastro a fiver. Now, open that chain for us to hack one. Close those crystals in the socket of the mothership to reconnect the circuit. Excellent, Crypto! You recovered all the Nexus crystals! And I owe Gastro a fiber! Now, to open that main thruster hatch, you'll need to expose the Nexus My sacred inner fluids are still frozen solid. <clears throat> Melt the obstruction with my superheated plasma. I never let warmth of a loving God accept this landing beacon in magnanimous thanks. About freaking time! Enough pussy putting around! Me wanna make boom boom!
Crypto! You've wiped out the Blisk base! I've half a mind to put you up for a medal! But only half! Hey, Pa, she seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Millenkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Sergei. You know her, always working. She's probably just looking for leads on Millenkov. Quite possibly. She is most efficient. Perhaps Agent Sergei is helping her. She better not be, man. I have had it with that smug jerk off. Look at me. I'm so handsome. I'm so smart. I read poetry. I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Who that she come at? What is that? Huh? Pathetic prisoners being held in cages in space is not being Four Diamond Hotel, I can be telling you that. Catching me going near alien base. Stench alone is enough to be making me move to different tiny Siberian village. All right, Bliss. This is gonna get messy. And wouldn't you know it, I'm all out of lobster beds. Protection, uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Papaya, that means us. I am not talking about STDs. He's been infected with alien spores. Indeed, he has la pushka. And I'm afraid Penny's healing won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. 
Millencomp. Uh, sorry to rain on your communist party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. You've lost. Such bluster, such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy hat and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame, neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svidanya, Kratos Peridium. Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you? Crypto, you should be able to kill those nerves on the organic gas line. Apple skis. Crypto, you should be able to kill those nerves on the organic gas line and stop them from pumping gas into the chamber. Hurry! Natalia is running out of air!
товариш! Look, it sucks that Melinkov got away, but I couldn't let you... you know... I know, Crypto, and... thank you. But we still have to stop Melinkov, and he's halfway to the moon by now! Ugh! What are we going to do? Uh, hello? Have saucer, will travel! I was wondering when you'd ask! Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending. Thank <laughs> you. 